Hey everyone, this is Steve Coring from the PTC community and today I'm going to show you how to make a spring. Uh, it's fairly quick and simple. Uh, let's create a new part. I'm just going to call mine spring. I'm going to use millimeters. Uh, go to insert, go to helical sweep and protrusion. And you'll notice you have two menus. Uh, the menu right here, you want to have a constant uh, through axis and uh, we're going to make a right handed spring. So I'm going to hit done. Now it wants to know what plane we want to sketch on, so I'm going to pick the front, hit OK, and I'm going to select default as my uh, sketching view. Now the next thing it wants to know is our sweep profile. What that means is it wants to know the length of our spring. So the first thing you want to do is draw in a center line. Then you want to come up and draw a line next to that. The length of this is going to be the length of our spring. Let's make it 200. This distance right here is the diameter of your spring. So we're going to make it 15. And when you hit the check mark over here on the right, uh, it wants to know a pitch value. So let's put that at 15 as well. All right, now the section, the final thing it wants to know is what is the shape of your spring? So obviously you can have any shape that you want. Uh, today we're going to use a regular circle for a spring. You'll notice when you pick the circle and you come down that you can snap to the diameter that you created uh, in the previous selection. So I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to make it 10 for a diameter. If you hit the check mark to finish and hit preview, you can now see what your spring looks like. This is a funky looking spring, so I'm going to change the diameter by selecting the profile and hitting Define, Modify, Done. And I want to change my diameter to 30. Well, let's make it 50. And I'm going to hit the check mark, hit OK. And here is what a normal spring looks like. Um, so it's, this is pretty much it. Um, it's not very hard to use one command. If you wanted to cut the ends off, you could just do an extrude, an extrude cut, because uh, some springs have a flat end on them. So uh, you would just draw two rectangles. And I'll make this 200. And then I'll just make sure that I subtract and go through all um, so that it cuts on both sides. Hit the check mark, and then you have your flat ends on there as well, if you choose to want that. Now, you can obviously write equations so that the value of your extrude changes with the value of your, of your helix. Um, I can do that in another tutorial, in an advanced spring tutorial on how to make your springs move by equations. Um, but this is the basics on how to make a simple spring. So look forward, look for that tutorial coming up soon. And if you have any comments or questions, please please feel free to rate and uh, leave them below. Thanks. Bye.